champion from Southeast Missouri State University, Kayla Gutierrez. Congratulations, first off. Thank you. Are, are you satisfied with your result individually today? I am. I just I came out here to try to do my best, and I think that's what I did, and I'm very excited about it. <laughs> the conditions weren't great today. A little cooler. Did that affect your preparation at all? Not at all. Once we got started and warmed up and we got right into it, the weather wasn't even a factor anymore. <laughs> Finally, for you, your CMO teammate, Sarah Hall, got second. That has to be a cool feeling. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. To just be one in for second, just be up there with your the teammates, the best team. Thank you. That's Kayla Gutis throw champion Sean Kyle from Southeast Missouri State. Congratulations, Sean. Had to be pleased with the way you threw today. Awesome. I wish it wasn't my last throw, but finally it came together in the last meet of the year. A little chilly today yeah. out here at SIU. We did that affect anything? Nah. I mean, once I warmed up, it was good. Adrenaline going and all that. Southeast Missouri State having a good day. One of your teammates finished third. Good mm -hmm. feeling for you guys. Oh, yeah. He was ranked second, but he scratched a big throw, so he knows he's got it in him. Thanks, Sean. No problem. Pro champion here on the field, Bethany Pfeiffer from Southeast Missouri State. And Bethany, a little bit of a unique situation. You started your career in Missouri. You come here to Southeast Missouri State, but what's it like now to be an OBC champion? Um, it feels pretty good. I wasn't really sure how it was going to feel going into it today, but it was nice to actually come out. Some of the runners are affected by different weather conditions. What about throwers? Did the cold and breezy conditions today, did that, did that change the way you approach things? Yeah, uh, personally I don't do well in the cold. Um, the heat really helps me out, so anytime we can go south, that's what I like to do, is just get in the heat. The cold and like windy fits a strong like, tailwind and just throws the jab down, so that doesn't help. Congratulations on your day. Thank you. That's the women's track and field championships. We are joined by men's javelin winner, Brian Grote from Southeast Missouri. First off, Brian, as a team, it's been a pretty good couple of days for SEMO in the throwing competitions, hasn't it? It has been. You know, we just need to show up and finish it off. Well, what are your feelings after winning the men's javelin throw? It has to be an exciting time for you here at the OBC championships. That yeah, feels good. Finally came back and won this year, lost last year, so it feels good to finish it off on top. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Brian Grote from SEMO, the men's javelin champion, men's triple jump winner from Southeast Missouri State. It is Chris Martin. Chris, your feelings after winning the men's triple jump? It's a really good feeling. Um, I was a little upset indoor uh, when we had to do triple jump because I put a upset line. I had to run a thousand meters before I triple, so I ended up placing I think fourth, one spot from actually meddling. And I was expected to win last, like indoor. So then outdoor, I was expected to win again. Well, me and my teammate came inside. He ended up injuring himself, so I felt it that I needed to, you know, I mean, come back and win it for both of us. You get to raise the Red Hawk flag. Is that the moment that you think about in the preseason and also during the season? The moment you really strive to get to? Yes, it's a it's a really good feeling. You know, I mean, just to have the flag blowing the wind behind you. I don't know, just looking out into the crowd with a big smile on his face, it feels good. You beat a pretty good guy in second place, too, in Ladera Court, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, he kicked me kicked me real hard in the butt on long jump, so I tried to turn a favor. He wins the men's decathlon here at the OBC Championships. How's your body feeling right now, Chris? Uh, it's, it's a little sore, but uh took it easy on the 15 because I'm trying to help the team out, so I got a 110 meter hurdle race, so... Um, yeah, just trying to help the team out as best I can and get as many points as possible. I saw that at the end. Was that more so a victory lap than anything? Um, I was just trying to save my legs. I, I wasn't trying to be cocky in any way. I just, I mean, it's pretty, going on in about 20 minutes, so I need fresh legs for that race. I've already ran it yesterday and this morning, so uh, we'll get ready for round three of this. Best of luck and congrats. Thank you. It's straight day. He is the men's shot put winner here at the OBC Outdoor Track and Field Championships. Been a busy couple days for you. Satisfied with how these two days went? Definitely. I PR'd in three events and one me. That's something I thought I'd never do. As a team as well, SEMO in the throwing events, just outstanding these two days. It's, it seems like it's been a bunch of Red Hawks on the podium. Proud of your teammates as well? Oh, definitely. I mean, me and Kevin Farley got 50 this is points. This our us final heat. Women's 1500. Let's bring it. Congratulations, gentlemen. That's shot.